Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hey guys, today I'm going to do my first voice review, which is kind of exciting, and let's get into the code. So first we got include liquidcrystal.h, which is the library included in the Arduino IDE for the liquid crystal. Um, you can see it over here, sketch include library. And then you could find liquid crystal right over here. We're gonna define the trig pin and echo pins as they are in the circuit. The trig pin is the the pin that's tricking the signal, sending out the signal, and the sound wave actually. And if the sound wave bounces off an object, the sound wave bounces back, and then the echo pin actually receives that signal so we're gonna define those as const because you don't really need to change it and then we're gonna define a uh, duration as a long and then an int distance which is the whatever distance that you're gonna it's gonna convert into and we don't need that so then we got liquid crystal LCD uh, the LCD is an object under liquid crystal and after defining these pins which are the LCD pins on the breadboard you go into int buzzer pin which is uh, a0 because I was too lazy to put any jumper wires on it anyway then we have notes, which is an array of one note, because I also got lazy and didn't want to define other notes, so it's only one note, and that's note number zero in the array. Now we could get into the setup, which is pin mode trig pin output, and then pin mode echo pin input. The trig pin is whatever that triggers the signal and sends it out, so it's an output. And the echo pin is whatever receives the signal, which is the input. Then we have to set up the LCD. So we use the function begin, lcd.begin, 16 two, 16 columns and two rows, which is how the LCD operates. Then we could go into the function loop. First, we turn the digital write command to set the trig pin as low then turn it high after two microseconds then low again because it's sending the sound wave and then duration is using the function pulse in then echo pin the duration has to be converted proportional to the distance in centimeters that will be displayed on the lcd so echo pin which is re the receiving signal and high it times it so it has the duration when the signal is sent and when the signal is received now distance which we defined earlier 
now is duration times 0 0.034 divided by 2 dividing it by 2 means you send the signal to the object and then it sends it back which is twice the distance so you divide it by 2 and 0 0.034 is the proportional value that has to be applied to duration to match distance so serial dot print distance which is the serial monitor over here or you could just click on tools and then there's the serial monitor then print ln because it basically means that after printing out these things it automatically enters and then it prints on a new line so that's what ln means this is ln not in in looks like this now delay 250 milliseconds because if I don't delay it then it just keeps on changing and flashing and yeah and you can't really see the I mean the values displayed on the LCD clearly LCD dot clear LCD dot set cursor and LCD dot print distance which is the distance then print CM because it's in centimeters if distance smaller or equals to 5 then tone buzzer pin notes 0 that means the buzzer pin will play this note over here which is note number 0 in the array and then LCD set cursor the first column and the second row then LCD dot print too close because less than five centimeters away is a bit too close. And this this tone is basically like a warning that you you're too close to the sensor. And then there's the else no tone A0, or you could set it as buzzer pin. Because else there's no tone, there shouldn't be any sound coming out of the buzzer because it'd be weird if like two meters away and 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 it's still beeping but over here we don't need an lcd dot clear because we have it over here then the second if statement is if distance larger or equals 20 and lcd dot set cursor to the same position as before over here and then LCD dot print perfect and then print a sideways smiley face because I just felt like printing a sideways smiley face. That's all there is to the code and you could verify it and it should be alright. And then you could connect the cables to your Arduino and then you upload the code. That should be good to go. You could go from resources down to references reference and then you could find all of these functions variables and structures here and under libraries you could find liquid crystal under standard libraries after you click on liquid crystal you could find all of these functions and examples and to use this library, you have to include liquorcrystal.h in your code. You don't need to download anything from GitHub or something because liquorcrystal, the liquorcrystal header file and the C++ file is already included in the Arduino IDE. And the library works uh, within either 4 or 8-bit mode using four data lines because you have data zero to data data line seven so it could be four bit or eight bit but in my videos I usually use four bit because there's no point using eight bit these are the examples you could uh, click on them and then you could uh, wire the circuit up and then you could look at the schematic and the code and yeah and you could uh, click on these functions and they tell you what you're supposed to do over here 
so I usually use this one because um, RS is register select and the enable is the E pin. Um, the read and write you don't you don't really need to do anything about that one in basic project, so just tie it ground. Then these are the eight bit style. So I already said that I'm not gonna use anything in my basic projects because I'm gonna get into more advanced projects later. And this is uh, including the read and write pin. These are the parameters and this is an example. Uh, really simple, it just prints out hello world. So yeah, just go to arduino.cc then you should find this page over here and then go down to resources and go down to reference so you could find the reference.